and then you come over here to your channels and you can see I've got 109 channels that were just scanned. I want to delete all these old ones. There we go. So I got to select them all, delete them. Then I want to select all these new ones. This is actually the merged number. So there were 109 individual channels, but there were some duplicates in there. Looks like they added a favorites list. That's kind of neat. I'll have to look at that later. So I guess you can tag channels as your favorites. So that might be kind of interesting because that would save you having to set up favorites lists on every one of your network TV tuners. So that, that's kind of interesting. I'll have to look at that. That's a new feature. And then you have your channel settings here. And this is where you can go in and change names just because it looks a little nicer in your listing. So you can save all those things. And then here's the real power of this package because I have my Media Center Guide services. I have the TV source listings, which are the over-the-air program guide information. And then there's this XML TV. And I can have multiple XML files. I have one that I generate daily called XMLTV.XML. And you can see that has all of these channels with program listings. And then the real power of this package is that I can come in here on a channel by channel basis and I can assign where I get the program guide from. So most of them I use XML TV, but down here, here's a channel that doesn't show up in the XML listing but it shows up they broadcast on the uh, program so you can see here I've got one that's the TV source so that's an over-the-air broadcast program guide and then here's one that I use the media center guide and if we go down here most of them I use the XML TV because it's the most reliable for me so for instance here this again is shows the power of this package. There's this 68.2 channel. They're broadcasting this uh, channel called Cool TV. It's sort of a music video channel on 68.2, but the listings are on 68.4. So I can assign the 68.4 listing to the 68.2 channel and correct the error and if we go down here to 68 see if I can find it here 68.4 is assigned to 68.2 you can see right there I've swapped these two channels because what the broadcaster is broadcasting and what shows up in the program guide doesn't match so you can go down channel by channel and pick the best listing, the most reliable one. As a default, if you're using Windows Media Center, you could use Media Center Guide Services for everything. And then it would work just like Media Center. But I find that this XML TV file that I download every day seems to have the most reliable data that I've found. The Media Center data is usually pretty good until it's not and then you have days or weeks or months where a channel is got the wrong listing data so 